In 3D Coat and 3D Coat Textura, the Color Operations tool is a multi-brush tool set. It's much like what you have in Photoshop with the different tool groups such as Blur and Sharpen in one tool group. You may have another tool group that has Dodge and Burn and then a sponge tool with different modes such as Saturate and Desaturate. All of that is comprised here within one single tool. You'll notice in the Tool Options panel that you have a tool and its counterpart directly to the side of it. So for example, the Saturate tool and the Desaturate, Lighten and Darken, Smoothing and Sharpen and so on. Let's go ahead and do a quick test here. I want to make sure to select the layer that has the color information that I want to alter. In this case, I would want to work on the hull. If we want to isolate this, we could do that through the Paint Objects panel. We could Alt-click the hull so that only it is visible. I can perform this either in the 2D Texture Editor or here in the Viewport. But I'll go ahead for now and start in the Viewport with something like Darken. And maybe I want to darken the bottom of the hull. So I'll right click and drag to the right or to the left to increase or decrease my brush size. Take note that the opacity is what drives the effect. For example, with the opacity of 100, when I press, it's quite strong. Even if I have a draw mode that is pressure sensitive, meaning I can lightly press, it's still going to be a bit strong. When you right click and drag up and down, you're not affecting the depth like you are with most other tools. You're actually affecting the opacity. So yeah, as I press, it's much easier to get a nice smooth gradient and just build up. You'll see that reflected in the viewports when you press down. Once you let up from your cursor, you'll notice the update in the 2D Texture Editor. Let me Alt right click here to zoom in, middle mouse click to pan. When I brush inside the 2D Texture Editor, it actually updates live. It doesn't wait for uh, my stylus to be released. It makes the change in real time. Okay. Let's say, for example, we want to add a little bit of a bleaching effect where the sun is hitting the top portion all day, every day. I uh, can switch to lighten. Do the very same thing in reverse. Okay. Now let's try something like uh, sharpening. Again, I may want to increase the opacity so this effect is more visible. Okay, I'll come over here to the right side and click Smoothing. You see the effect is quite strong. Now the thing about smoothing is you also happen to have the ability to smooth with any brush when you hold down the Shift key. This is universal throughout the application. So when you see this green profile, you know that you're able to smooth at any point in time. When you right click and drag up, your smoothing effect will be more dramatic. When you right click and drag down, it will be less severe or more subtle. Again, with the smoothing, make sure your opacity is light if you want the smoothing effect to be light. Or above 100% if you want it to be very strong. Okay, and increase hue and decrease hue is relatively self-explanatory as is substitute hue and hue saturation, except substitute hue is going to utilize the foreground color to substitute. So let me get something that's a little more extreme, like a purple. With a value of 100, it's basically going to replace the hue with this color. If I reduce the opacity to a lighter amount, it's going to do it in a more subtle fashion. 
Okay, let's change this to like a neon green for effect. Let's increase the opacity. Yeah. Okay, and then increase hue is just going to increase the hue level based on the hue shift that you select here. And that will conclude this overview of the Color Operations tool in 3D Coat in 3D Coat Textura. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.